Sahih Muslim The Book of Eclipses Chapter on the Eclipse Prayer It was narrated that Aisha said, The sun was eclipsed at the time of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. And the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, stood up and prayed, and stood for a very long time. Then he bowed and bowed for a very long time. Then he raised his head and stood for a very long time, but it was shorter than the first time. Then he bowed and bowed for a very long time, but it was shorter than the first time. Then he prostrated. Then he stood up and stood for a long time, but it was shorter than the first time. Then he bowed and bowed for a long time, but it was shorter than the first time. Then he raised his head and stood for a long time, but it was shorter than the first time. Then he bowed and bowed for a long time, but it was shorter than the first time. Then he prostrated. Then the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, finished the prayer and the eclipse had ended. Then he addressed the people, praising and glorifying Allah. Then he said, The sun and the moon are two of the signs of Allah and they do not become eclipsed for the death or birth of anyone. If you see that, then say the takbir and offer supplication to Allah, pray and give charity. O Ummah of Muhammad, peace be upon him, there is no one who is more jealous than Allah of his male or female slave commits zina. O Ummah of Muhammad, peace be upon him, if you knew what I know, you would laugh little and weep much. Have I not conveyed the message? It was narrated from Hisham bin Urwa with this chain, a similar hadith as number 2089, and he added, Then he said, The sun and the moon are two of the signs of Allah. And he also added, Then he raised his hands and said, O Allah, have I conveyed the message? It was narrated that Aisha, the wife of the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The sun was eclipsed during the lifetime of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, went out to the masjid and stood and said the takbir, and the people formed rows behind him. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, recited for a long time. Then he said the takbir and bowed for a long time. Then he raised his head and said, Sami'a Allahu liman hamida, Rabbana lak alhamd. Allah hears those who praise him. Our Lord, to you be praise. Then he stood and recited for a long time, but it was shorter than the first time. Then he said the takbir and bowed for a long time, but it was shorter than the first time. Then he said, Sami Allahu liman hamida, Rabbana lak alhamd. Allah hears those who praise him. Our Lord, to you be praise. Then he prostrated. Abu At-Tahir, one of the narrators, did not say, then he prostrated. Then he did likewise in the second rakah until he had completed four bowings and four prostrations and the eclipse ended before he finished the prayer. Then he stood and addressed the people. He praised Allah as he deserves to be praised. Then he said, The sun and the moon are two of the signs of Allah, and they do not become eclipsed for the death or birth of anyone. If you see that, then hasten to pray. He also said, Pray until Allah grants you relief. And the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, While I was standing, I saw everything that you have been promised. I even saw myself wanting to take a bunch of grapes from paradise when you saw me stepping forward. And I saw hell, parts of it consuming other parts, when you saw me moving backwards, and I saw therein Amr bin Luhay, who is the one who established the custom of As-Sa'ib. The narration of Abu At-Tahir ends with the words, Then hasten to pray, and he did not mention what comes after that. Footnote a saib this refers to a custom of the jahliya whereby a she camel was set free for the gods and was not to be used for carrying loads or ridden see surah al maida chapter 5 verse 103 it was narrated from aisha that the sun was eclipsed at the time of the messenger of allah peace be upon him he sent a caller calling the prayer is being assembled and they gathered and he went forward and said the takbir and prayed with four bowings and four prostrations in turaka it was narrated from Aisha that the Prophet, peace be upon him, recited out loud in the Eclipse prayer and he prayed with four bowings and four prostrations in Turaka. It was narrated from Ibn Abbas that the Prophet, peace be upon him, prayed with four bowings and four prostrations in Turaka. Ibn Abbas used to narrate a narration similar to that of Urwa from Aisha concerning the prayer of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, on the day when the sun was eclipsed. It was narrated from Atta. Ubad bin Umar said, One whom I regard as truthful, I think he meant Aisha, 
told me that the sun was eclipsed at the time of the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, and he stood for a very long time. He stood, then he bowed, then he stood, then he bowed, then he stood, then he bowed, Turika with three bowings and four prostrations. When he finished, the eclipse had ended. When he bowed, he said, Allahu Akbar, and when he raised his head, he said, Sami Allahu liman hamida. Allah hears those who praise him. Then he stood and praised and glorified Allah. Then he said, The sun and the moon do not become eclipsed for the death or birth of anyone. Rather, they are signs of Allah with which Allah creates fear in his slaves. So if you see them being eclipsed, remember Allah until the eclipse is over. It was narrated from Aisha that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, prayed with six bowings and four prostrations. Chapter on mentioning the punishment in the grave during the eclipse prayer. It was narrated from Amra that a Jewish woman came to Aisha to beg from her. She said, May Allah grant you refuge from the punishment of the grave. Aisha said, I said, O Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, will the people be punished in their graves? Amra, one of the narrators, said, Aisha said, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, I seek refuge with Allah. Then, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, rode that morning, and the sun was eclipsed. Aisha said, I went out with some other women behind the apartments in the masjid, and the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, came from his ride and went to his prayer place where he used to pray. He stood and the people stood behind him. Aisha said, He stood for a long time. Then he bowed, and he remained bowing for a long time. Then he raised his head and stood for a long time that was shorter than the first time. Then he bowed for a long time that was shorter than the first time. Then he raised his head and the eclipse had ended. He said, I saw you being put to trial in the grave like the tribulation of the Dajjal. Amra said, I heard Aisha say, I used to hear the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him after that, seeking refuge with Allah from the punishment of hell and the punishment of the grave. A hadith similar to that of Suleiman bin Bilal, number 1098, was narrated from Yahya bin Sa'id with this chain. Chapter on what was shown to the Prophet, peace be upon him, of paradise and hell during the eclipse prayer. It was narrated that Jabir bin Abdullah said, The sun was eclipsed at the time of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, on a very hot day. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, led his companions in prayer, and he stood for such a long time that they began to fall down. Then he bowed for a long time, then he raised his head and stood for a long time, then he bowed for a long time, then he raised his head and stood for a long time. Then he prostrated twice, then he stood up and did the same again. There were four bowings and four prostrations. Then he said, Everything that you are going to enter was shown to me. Paradise was shown to me. And if I had wanted to take a bunch of grapes from it, I could have. Or I tried to take a bunch of grapes from it, but my arm couldn't reach. And hell was shown to me. And I saw therein a woman from the children of Israel, who was being punished because of a cat that belonged to her. She tied it up and did not feed it, nor did she let it eat from the vermin of the earth. And I saw Abu Thamama, Amr bin Malik, dragging his intestines in hell. They used to say that the sun and moon only became eclipsed because of the death of a great man, but they are two of the signs of Allah that He has shown to you. So when they become eclipsed, pray until it is over. A similar report as number 2100 was narrated from Hisham with this chain, but he said, I saw in hell a tall black Himyari woman, and he did not say from the children of Israel. It was narrated that Jabir said, the sun was eclipsed during the time of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, on the day when Ibrahim, the son of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, died. And the people said, It has become eclipsed because of the death of Ibrahim. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, stood up and led the people in praying six rakah with four prostrations. He started by saying the takbir. Then he recited for a long time. Then he bowed for almost as long as he had stood. Then he raised his head from bowing and recited for a shorter time than the first time. Then he bowed for almost as long as he had stood. Then he raised his head from bowing, and recited for a shorter time than the second time. Then he bowed for almost as long as he had stood. Then he raised his head from bowing. Then he went down in prostration and prostrated twice. Then he stood up and performed three more rakah, in which each rakah was shorter than the one that came before it, and the bowing was similar in length to the prostration. 
Then he moved backwards, and the rows behind him also moved backwards, until we could go no further. Abu Bakr, one of the narrators, said, until he reached the women. Then he moved forward, and the people moved forward with him, until he was standing back in his place, and he completed the prayer as it should be completed, and the sun had become bright. Then he said, O people, the sun and the moon are two of the signs of Allah, and they do not become eclipsed for the death of anyone among the people. Abu Bakr said, For the death of any human being, if you see anything of that nature, then pray until it is over. There is nothing that you have been promised, but I saw it during this prayer of mine. Hell was brought, and that is when you saw me moving backwards for fear that its flames might touch me. I saw therein the owner of the curved staff dragging his intestines in the fire. He used to steal from the pilgrims with his curved staff. And if he was discovered, he would say, It got caught on my curved staff. But if he was not noticed, then he would take it. And I saw therein the woman who had a cat, which she tied up and did not feed. And she did not let it eat from the vermin of the earth until it died of starvation. Then paradise was brought to me, and that is when you saw me move forward until I was back in my place. I stretched out my hand, and I wanted to pick some of its fruits so that you could see them. Then I thought that I should not do that. And there is nothing that you have been promised, but I saw it during this prayer of mine. It was narrated that Asma said, The sun was eclipsed at the time of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, and I entered upon Aisha and found her praying. I said, Why are the people praying? And she gestured towards the sky with her head. I said, Is it a sign? She said, Yes. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, stood for a very long time until I was about to faint. I took hold of a vessel of water that was by my side and started to pour it over my head or my face. No sooner had the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, finished praying, but the sun became clear. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, addressed the people, praising and glorifying Allah. Then he said, There is nothing that I had not seen before, but I saw it during this standing of mine, even paradise and hell. It was revealed to me that you will be tested in your graves with something close to or like the tribulation of the Dajjal. I, the narrator, do not know which one Asma said, Someone will come to one of you and will say, What do you know about this man, the believer or the one who has certain faith? I do not know which one, Asma said, will say, He is Muhammad, peace be upon him. He is the messenger of Allah. He came to us with clear signs and guidance, and we responded and obeyed three times. Then it will be said to him, Sleep, for we knew that you believed in him. Sleep the sleep of the righteous. As for the hypocrite or the doubter, I do not know which one Asma said. He will say, I do not know. I heard the people saying something, so I said it. It was narrated that Asma said, I came to Aisha and the people were standing and she was praying. I said, what is the matter with the people? A hadith similar to that of Ibn Numar from Hisham, number 2103. It was narrated that Urwa said, Do not say, Kasafat ashams, rather say, Kasafat ashams. It was narrated that Asma bint Abi Bakr said, The Prophet, peace be upon him, was perturbed one day, meaning the day on which the sun was eclipsed, and he picked up a woman's chemise until he was given his own rida'ah. Then he stood and led the people in prayer standing for a long time, such that if a person came who did not realize that the Prophet, peace be upon him, had bowed, he would not think that he had bowed because of this long standing. Ibn Juraj narrated a similar report as number 2106 with this chain, and he said, He stood for a long time, standing and bowing. And he added, And I started looking at a woman who was older than me, and at another who was more sick than I. It was narrated that Asma bint Abi Bakr said, The sun was eclipsed at the time of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, and he was perturbed, and he put on a woman's chemise by mistake until his own reda was brought to him. She said, I relieved myself, then I came to the masjid and I saw the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, standing, so I stood with him, and he stood for so long that I wanted to sit down. Then I looked at a weak woman and I said, this one is weaker than I, I will remain standing. Then he bowed and bowed for a long time. Then he raised his head and stood for a long time, such that if a man came, he would think that he had not bowed. It was narrated that Ibn Abbas said, The sun was eclipsed at the time of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, and the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, prayed, and the people with him. He stood for a long time, almost as long as it takes to recite Surah Al-Baqarah. 
Then he bowed for a long time. Then he raised his head and stood for a long time that was shorter than the first time. Then he bowed for a long time that was shorter than the first time. Then he prostrated. Then he raised his head and stood for a long time which was shorter than the first time. Then he bowed for a long time which was shorter than the first time. Then he raised his head and stood for a long time which was shorter than the first time. Then he bowed for a long time which was shorter than the first time. Then he prostrated. Then no sooner had he finished but the sun became clear. He said, The sun and the moon are two of the signs of Allah. They do not become eclipsed for the death or birth of anyone. If you see that, then remember Allah. They said, O Messenger of Allah, we saw you reaching out to take something when you were standing. Then we saw you refrain. He said, I saw paradise, and I reached out to take a bunch of grapes from it. If I had taken it, you would have eaten from it for as long as this world remained. And I saw hell, and I have never seen anything like what I have seen today. I saw that most of its people are women. They said, Why is that, O Messenger of Allah? He said, Because of their ungratefulness. It was said, Are they ungrateful to Allah? He said, They are ungrateful to their husbands, and they are ungrateful for kind treatment. If you treat one of them kindly for a lifetime, then she sees something from you. She says, I have never seen anything good from you. A similar report as number 2109 was narrated from Zad bin Aslam with this chain, except that he said, Then we saw you moving backwards. Chapter on those who say that he prayed with eight bowings and four prostrations. It was narrated that Ibn Abbas said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, prayed with eight bowings and four prostrations when the sun was eclipsed. A similar report was also narrated from Ali. It was narrated from Ibn Abbas that the Prophet, peace be upon him, prayed during an eclipse. He recited, then he bowed. Then 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 he prostrated. He said, and the second rak'ah was the same. Chapter on the call for the eclipse prayer, As-Salatu Jamia. The prayer is being assembled. It was narrated that Abdullah bin Amr bin Al-As said, When the sun was eclipsed at the time of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, the call went out, As-Salatu Jamia. The prayer is being assembled. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, bowed twice in one rak'ah, then he stood up and bowed twice in one rak'ah. Then the sun became clearer. Aisha said, I never bowed or prostrated for a longer time than that. It was narrated that Abu Masood al-Ansari said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, The sun and the moon are two of the signs of Allah by means of which Allah creates fear in his slaves. They do not become eclipsed for the death of any person. If you see anything happen to them, then pray and call upon Allah until you are relieved of that. It was narrated from Abu Masood that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, The sun and the moon do not become eclipsed for the death of any person. Rather, they are two of the signs of Allah. So if you see that, then get up and pray. It was narrated from Ismail with this chain. In the hadith of Sufyan and Waqia, it says, The sun was eclipsed on the day that Ibrahim died. And the people said, It has been eclipsed because of the death of Ibrahim. It was narrated that Abu Musa said, The sun was eclipsed at the time of the Prophet, peace be upon him, and he got up in a state of anxiety, thinking that it was the hour. He came to the masjid and started to pray, standing, bowing, and prostrating for the longest time that I ever saw him do so in any prayer. Then he said, These signs that Allah has sent do not occur for the death or birth of anyone. Rather, Allah sends them to cause fear in his slaves. If you see any of them, then hasten to remember him. Call upon him and ask him for forgiveness. According to the report of Ibn al-Ala, the sun was eclipsed and he said, causing fear in his slaves. It was narrated that Abdurrahman bin Samora said, While I was shooting my arrows during the time of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, the sun was eclipsed. I threw them aside and said, I will go and see what has happened to the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, during this eclipse of the sun today. I came to him and found him raising his hands, supplicating, saying the takbir, praising Allah and proclaiming that there is none worthy of worship but him, until the sun became clear and he recited two surah and bowed twice. It was narrated that Abdurrahman bin Samura, who was one of the companions of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, I was shooting my arrows in al Madinah at the time of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, when the sun was eclipsed. I came to him and he was standing in prayer, raising his hands, glorifying Allah, praising him, 
proclaiming that there is none worthy of worship but Him, proclaiming His greatness and calling upon Him until the eclipse ended. When it ended, he recited two surah and prayed two rakah. It was narrated that Abdurrahman bin Samura said, While I was shooting my arrows at the time of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, the sun was eclipsed. Then he mentioned a similar hadith as number 2119. It was narrated from Abdullah bin Umar that he used to narrate that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, The sun and the moon do not become eclipsed for the death or birth of anyone. Rather, they are among the signs of Allah. So when you see them, then pray. al mughira bin Shuba said, The sun was eclipsed at the time of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, on the day that Ibrahim died. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, The sun and the moon are two of the signs of Allah and do not become eclipsed for the death or birth of anyone. If you see them, then call upon Allah and pray until it is over.